Hello. Um, we are going to put a rotary vibrator on that you would normally find like on a dump truck on a dump trailer. This is going to be involve cutting some square tubing, building a frame type uh, support for it, and welding it in place, running electricity, uh, and a switch, momentary switch, uh, in the toolbox of the trailer. Here's the 2,500 pound rotary vibrator. Here's a threaded plate that we're gonna be welding onto the square tubing. I can't put it dead center because of this, the way this is uh, framed, but I'm gonna build a box on this side and put it as close to the middle as I can. But it's gonna, because of the force, I'm gonna build a box off of this framing. Um, try to keep it real nice and solid. So I've got 12 foot of welding stock in the back of the trailer, right there. And I'm gonna chop saw, and I'm gonna make some measurements. And we're going to uh, get this done. I've got my uh, Lincoln electric welder over there, which we'll be gonna be using gasless. I've got a 35 wire in there. And uh, by all means, I'm no, uh, expert welder but uh, I, I can weld it may not look pretty but uh, I can get it done and I'll keep you guys posted as I as I go along okay so we're gonna cut these for this particular trailer at 22 and 1 8 22 and 1 8 okay I'm gonna do it right there So I've got to make three more of those. I need four of those total. So I'm going to go ahead and make those and then I'm going to weld them in place, which I'll show you. Uh, so I'll go ahead and finish cutting these and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I've got this one put in here. I'm going to kind of uh, beat it in place. I need to move it over a half inch. I measure from here to here. Uh, it's uh, 38 inches, so we need to center this on 19. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a, uh, a piece here, here, there and there and by the way I do have the uh, service support on the uh, dump right now I'm gonna continue beating this in here and then I'm gonna start welding these in place the vibrator is gonna sit about right here I'm just trying to uh, support this a little bit better um, because there's a lot of force coming from that vibrator so um, I'm gonna put these in the middle of each one um, and then I'm gonna probably run two here and here more narrow together and then that's going to be what takes the plate for the vibrator assembly and that's going to be welded on there so um, these are just really to try to i'm just trying to make this area here uh, more rigid than it than it came since it's going to be taking on all that force so i'm going to try to get some footage um, i've welded the top two obviously my welds are not perfect but i am a hobbyist welder at best but i believe they're sturdy and i believe they're going to work they just might need to be grinded I've got these kind of banged into place with a hammer and a sledgehammer. Uh, I got them close to the right fitment and then I've got them banged in there. Um, I'm going to take a uh, C-clamp as soon as I find that C-clamp. Oh, I can probably see it. I can't. It's on the other side. So we got a C-clamp here I'm using for uh, ground. I don't leave too many negative reviews about my, uh, or negative comments about my, my welding because like I said, uh, I'm not a great welder. I try at least. I don't know how well GoPro hooks up welding, but I've seen welding videos. I'm sure they were shot with GoPros, so it should be fine. I just want to kind of get you an idea of what I'm doing. I had to uh, fill that in a little bit because uh, I didn't do a very good job at cutting. Actually, the real mistake I made is that I assume that they were square. I should have labeled the individual pieces. Okay, so that looks pretty ucky, but um, I just really wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to trap a lot of water in there. Um, it was really my, my point in closing that up. Um, 
I'm sure it's probably not super structurally sound, but uh, you know, even if you look down on where these uh, verticals are on the cylinders, they are not welded on the bottom like that. So it's totally fine. I just wanted to seal it up so that it wasn't gonna be a source of water collection. And I'll grind that down, make it look nice. We're gonna move over to this other side and we're gonna cover that one next. We have the supporting cross members and I'm in the process of building the channel bracket that is going to hold this. So I took my other two remaining pieces and I'm gonna build a apparatus like this. This is a steel plate that the uh, vibrator uh, mounts to and there's threaded holes in here. And what I'm doing is I'm building an adapter that I can weld this onto like so. That'll be what the rotary vibrator attaches to. And so I'm gonna weld this up and then that whole assembly will mount right up along here. As close to center as I can. Uh, normally you want them perfectly centered, but because this uh, main channel has this right here, I can't mount it there. So I'm gonna mount it as close to the left side or the as far left of the right of that channel as I can get. I've uh, finished welding this, and by no means is it good welds. I am a uh, professional grinder, not a welder. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I think I have enough penetration. I'll get better at welding with time, just as everyone does. Here's the back side of it. I welded the back, but I did was not able to weld the back side of the plate. Once that's there, we're ready to get some Loctite out and uh, mount the uh, vibrator. I'm going to weld a D-link on one of the braces we put in and I'm going to put a safety chain on it just in case this weld ever breaks. I don't think it will, but you're talking about 2,500 pounds of force. So I want to make sure that uh, if it does, you know, break somehow that, the, that there's a safety chain on that vibrator. I'm going to double check the measurement, make sure it's not uh, too far sideways. Actually, it's a quarter. So, I'm going to kick that bottom over a half an inch. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. I've got this welded up in place. Okay, you can see how I tried to make, and it's not perfect welded. It's not welded perfectly. Um, and I am probably going to clean it up, maybe uh, waffle paper, sander it down. Um, and then I'm going to most likely paint it with something it doesn't have to I don't I don't care that it looks fantastic it's the underside I just want to keep it from rusting or attempt to I mounted a d-ring here welded a d-ring with a safety chain in case you know this is so much vibration and it's really solid but I don't really trust I don't fully trust my weld and it's a safety thing you know if this thing falls off and it's spinning 2,500 pounds of force and it's way up there you know because the bed's all the way up and it swing comes off it could really hurt somebody so i put a mounted a safety chain on this especially kate what if it breaks off when i you know when what when, when i'm driving you know i want to lose a 500 uh piece of equipment so i'm hoping that this will really save me there and so you can see how i've braced uh there there 
there and there to kind of um, strengthen it up. And then I've welded in uh, two pieces with some uh, cross members. <clears throat> I can't really get in there very well for a good weld. Um, I might come across here, I might not. I don't know, um, I'll see how it looks with the vibration and force. Um, but this is basically where we're at at this point. And to be honest, I probably have six or eight hours in this at this point. It definitely took some time to install. You know, I think it beats paying a welder. I'll update the video maybe in, uh, in a few, uh, few months and see if it's fallen off. But I, I really tried to weld this good. I've really whacked on it before to see if I could get any movement. Seems to be pretty solid. Next up, we'll be uh, running the powers and controls, which will be in this toolbox. The kit comes with um, a circuit breaker. And a solenoid. I believe that's what that is, a solenoid. And it comes also with a uh, momentary switch. Ah, just kidding. Um, <laughs> so that's going to get mounted uh, with this, probably somewhere here. I haven't decided yet where I'm going to mount it. I might mount it over here just because there's a lot less electronics over here. We're going to run power, so it's, this, it's the unit is grounded by the frame, so by the bolts that are in it, so there's no grounding wire. So it came with, uh, I believe it's 50 feet of number four, I don't think that's number two. So the way I've ran it, because keep in mind on a dump trailer, you've got to, you basically have to run it to the back and then jump over at the back because the back doesn't have a lot of movement. Um, Obviously you can't just come up here because when you comes down, it'll sag. So the way I ran it, I had a hole in the bottom of my toolbox for all the other wiring. So I ran it down that, and this will vary based on, you know, what you've got, what you're working with. But I ran it and zip tied it to these two hydraulic lines. And I started using the uh, pockets for the rest of the wiring. And I ran it down and over and I'm gonna get some um, I'm gonna get some things like this at the hardware store I'm getting ready to go there now and I'm gonna run straight up the, the middle and then I'll come over to um, I'll come straight up the middle and then I'll come over to the vibrator and it's just power so that's the next thing that we're gonna do and then the biggest piece of the wiring will be done Everything else is in this toolbox, um, connecting the circuit breakers, the battery, and the momentary switch, and the solenoid. So that's all that, uh, so once I get this done, then the rest of this will be done all inside this toolbox, which will be pretty nice. I did have enough, this is a 14 footer dump trailer. I had enough wire to run all the way down and back up, and I've got 10 feet left. 12 feet left so there's plenty that comes with plenty of wire and uh, my biggest problem is all my shit that I hooked up to this battery I've got these pieces mounted I've got the circuit breaker mounted I've got the solenoid mounted and I have this switch mounted I have not run any of the wiring yet if I had to do it over again I would have put this switch these around because I'm supposed to run from uh, this line that goes to the vibrator is supposed to run to this and then from this to this, and from this to the positive battery terminal. And then one side of this, uh, I believe, is grounded on the small one, and one side uh, goes to the switch, I believe. So here we have everything mounted and wired. So we've got the circuit breaker, which comes in from the, that's the wire that goes down and around. It comes into the circuit breaker, circuit breaker runs to here and then this runs to the, the terminal here and this is a huge mess I know that I have um, a post adapter coming that I'm gonna be able to put on this post and have uh, branches to, to clean everything up for now this is just how I have to do it um, one side of this solenoid gets grounded the other side is power for your switch here comes the momentary switch comes out of the momentary switch and goes to the power so when you put power down there goes the solenoid connects these two posts 
send power to the rotary vibrator. It does work. And I'll get some video up as well with a load. It does, it does work. So I've got uh, five, a little over five tons of sand here. And we're gonna go ahead and dump this. <laughs> see now I'm also going to show you the vibrator Let's see what happens when that's running loosens that all up I can tell it's already ran off the top there's a little bit there so I'm Pull, pull forward a little bit and hit the vibrate a little bit more to, to break it up. Okay, I'm gonna move the truck and pull it forward um, so that a little bit more of that can fall. I just pulled forward and all the material came out. I'm gonna lower this back down and go put the trailer away. All right, I think that wraps up the video on the vibrator. It was definitely a fun install. It took quite a bit of time. Uh, I would put I would put it on again. You definitely have to have access to a welder to to make that work, but it was fun, and uh, it definitely material that kind of sits down uh, and settles. Um, it definitely helps kind of break it up without having to get up in there with a with a shovel. So that that, that was. Uh, Super positive, especially with with material like sand. I would I would definitely do it again. Um, I want to uh, spray paint the uh, the members that I put in, but it's 40 out, and I'm not sure how well this, the material will uh, the paint will stick to it. So I'm gonna wait to do that until spring. But uh, overall, I think it's, it's was a fun project, and uh, I, would, I would definitely do it again. So that wraps it up. Thanks.